What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you guys how to change the dimensions of your video in Premiere Pro so that way it can be a YouTube short video, an Instagram reel, or a TikTok video. Now before I get started on this video, I just want to let you guys know that I have a gaming channel called The Wavy Artist 24. Now the reason I'm bringing that up is because if you were to go to that channel, I have a lot of YouTube short videos and just some basic gaming footage. And what I did was add some text-to-speech voiceovers in hopes to make it into a funny YouTube short video. So there will be a link in the description for you guys to get to my gaming channel. And I had some leftover footage from making those videos that I can use as an example for this video. So let's get started. So when I record footage of me playing a game from my console, I use Xbox by the way, the dimensions are either 1280 by 720 pixels or 1920 by 1080 pixels. So in this case, the footage that I have here already, the dimensions are 1280 by 720 pixels. That means because this video file was the first thing that I imported into Premiere Pro, then the playback box or the overall video would be the same dimensions. So to change that, I'm gonna go up here to sequence and then right here where it says sequence settings. And then this window comes up. I know this seems like a lot, but we're only gonna be messing with this box that says video. So right here where it says frame size, horizontal and vertical, this is the horizontal dimensions or the width. And then this box right here, that would be the height or the vertical dimensions. And right now it's at a 16 by nine ratio, which would look like this, like a regular widescreen TV. But we can also change that so it can be a nine by 16 ratio. So that way it can be a YouTube short, TikTok video or Instagram reel. So I'm gonna go to frame size. I'm gonna change that to about a 4K dimension. So the 4K dimensions, they would be 3840 by 2160 pixels. So I'm gonna change this 1280, I'm gonna change that into 2160 pixels. And then I'm gonna change the vertical dimensions to 3840. And then the rest of these settings we're not gonna mess with, so I'm gonna click OK. And as you can see, my playback box quickly formatted to the dimensions that we gave it. But then we're left with my video looking super small in our playback box. We can fix that two ways. So one way is by clicking on the video in our timeline, which would be this box right here. I can right click on that. And then we're gonna scroll until we see scale to frame size. And you can see that the video scaled so that way it can snap onto each edge horizontally like so. But let's say I wanna make it bigger. So what I can do is double click on this video in my playback box. And you can see that this video now has transform points similar to Photoshop. So what I can do is use these transform points and I'm using my computer's trackpad and I can just simply scale it up with two fingers like so. But if you don't have a trackpad, let me undo this real quick we can go to effect controls, or if for some reason that's not here, we can go up here to window and go to effect controls and make sure that window is up. So in my effect controls window, you can see that we have an option that says scale. And then there's a number 100.0 right here. So what I'm gonna do is hover my cursor over that number 100 until my cursor looks like this. And what I'm gonna do is click on that number 100 and I'm gonna click and drag to the right and as I'm doing that that number is increasing along with the size of my video file in my playback box and once you get to a number that you like you can lift up off your trackpad or mouse and there we go so now my video that was at 1280 by 720 pixels it's now at 2160 by 3840 pixels. So now after changing the dimensions of this video, I'm now gonna put it up on the screen and show you guys what the video looks like now. Here we go. And 
And yeah, that is how you do it. That is how you change the dimensions of your video in Premiere Pro. Also, before I end the video, I just wanna let you guys know that this is not my first Premiere Pro tutorial. I have other tutorials about how to use Premiere Pro over there on my Patreon. There will be a link in the description of this video for you to get to my Patreon, sign up, and then you'll have access to all my Premiere Pro tutorials. And yeah, that's gonna do it for the video. If you liked it or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I